So today's task is to install this. Using that cable, I'm going to chop these ends off. I've got the blue cable just so it stands out in the van. Um, all the other cables in the van are white or orange, so I've got a blue one so it stands out. And what I want to do is under there, I've now fitted the inverter. What this does is it has two inputs, the master and slave. Uh, the master is the primary input, the one it assumes is going to be uh, mains electricity, so that's hookup. The load is all the circuits, so all the sockets and everything like that that hang off it. And then the slave, in our example, is going to be not Mandy. <laughs> the slave is going to be the blue cable, which is going to go to the inverter. So that means predominantly we're going to be off grid and this system will all be fine and it'll all be working off the battery and the inverter. If I get to a campsite and plug in, this will detect that the master circuit is then live, switch all the sockets over, anything that's on the load, to the master and therefore it won't be using the inverter on a campsite or a hookup, it will use the hookup cable. So some people just have little sockets and they swap sockets over between like, you know, incoming hookup and uh, inverter or something like that. But this is just the automated way to do it. And I think this is only about 30 or 40 pounds. So it seems to be, you know, might as well do it, do it right. So I think the biggest problem today is going to be finding a place to route this cable. So using these little fishy rod things, I'm going to um, attach that end of the cable and then pull it all through here. And there you can see down there is that. And I push that under the floor. And then Mandy's got the other end there. So you just pull that a minute just to show people you've got it. There you go. So I'm going to tape that end there to that end down there. Mandy's going to pull it through. And then basically we'll get the cable from that end all the way over to the back and try and run the same all the way down the back of the van. Bit of teamwork there, eh, babe? Oh, hi. Bit jiggly pokery. So what's going to happen is the electric hookup cable is going to come in to there. Then the load cable is going to go from there to the RCB, the breaker. Um, and then the uh, inverter cable is going to come in this side. So if I am like remote, just off grid, then the inverter is going to be coming power in. This is going to detect that's the only power. I'm going to send the power back out of the load. As soon as I go to an electric hookup state, like a campsite or someone's house, friend's house or whatever, and I'm connecting the electric hookup, this is automatically going to detect that the master circuit there is going to be charged, it's going to be live, and then it'll flick all the loads over to that side, which means no electricity is going to be coming through the inverter side. Obviously then you just switch your inverter off, but it means the load would be channeling through the electric hookup side and obviously this side is for all your earths and um, essentially the only earth cable which will ever be used really is when you're on electric hookup because that's the only true earth so everything's wired i'll show you how it's all wired in a minute everything's ready to go so mandy switch the inverter on the inverter on okay so wait for that to show the electrics coming through to the the van we have power. We have power in the van. So let's go back to this. And that is now showing there, you've got two, the two LEDs. So it's showing that the incoming cable, that one, has got the power. And that that is now providing the load. So Mandy, can you now um, unplug the inverter and plug in the electric hookup? So obviously we've lost power. And there we go, instantly, because the electric hookup is instantly on, um, we're now showing the electric hookups got power and it's passing it back down the load. So there we go. The fridge is now telling us that it's on electric and the overhead panel is telling us it's on electric as well. See that little orange light there? So that's it. That is the auto hookup set up now. And obviously what I've done is I've just wired it so the the whole van is wired up. In a future episode, I might try and decipher all the cables that are under there 
and chase out just the ones that I need. But for now, I'm more than happy for it to work like that because I know all I've got to do is pull out a 20 amp fuse for the electric hookup charger, which is underneath the passenger seat. Um, pull that fuse out and then everything works fine anyway. So it's an easy little fix for now. Right, so on the switch over, we've got two incoming uh, feeds. This one here is the electric hookup and this one here is the inverter. So the blue goes to the inverter and the big thick white one is the electric hookup. And then this in the middle is the load. What do they mean by the load? Well, that means all the electricity that's then going to be coming from either one of these cables going to the van. So in this instance, the load goes out through there, into there, and becomes the incoming feed to the breaker. So that's our safety device, um, the trip circuit. So if anything goes wrong with any of the circuits, so there's a surge on any of these or a, a cable's cut somewhere or the, the inverter blows up or if you're on a hookup and there's a problem with the hookup supply, um, then that circuit is going to protect you. Like I say, we've got all the earths connected there and there and those are all connected now with each other. So everything's earth properly as well. And the way this works, as you just saw, is you have power coming in. So I demonstrated by using the inverter having power come in and that lit up this circuit and then showed the load was the other circuit going out. And then we flicked over to electric hookup. So we unplugged from the inverter and we plugged in on electric hookup and it instantly flicked over to the hookup. So the van really didn't see any loss of power. Um, it just knew that the master circuit, the hookup was there. So ignore everything from the inverter, from the slave. And it was that simple. And that's it really. Like I say, all I've done is I've split the incoming electric couple cable. So I actually chopped it in half. So the original cable's coming in there. And then that is the other half of the original cable that went into there. And I've just used this to be able to split it in half. So I hope that makes sense. It makes it an easier install that way. That you can just split the incoming electric hookup cable to create your incoming power and your load power going back out to the rcd and then obviously you've only got really one cable extra to supply then and that's for your inverter there you go folks all done finished off very happy with that nice simple install and then um, the worst thing really was it was such a confined little cupboard to work in <laughs> Um, the cables were short, but other than that, like I say, fairly, stim fairly simple, straightforward job. Asking, well, how do you get the power from your inverter though? Um, and that's simple, you just basically wire in a three pin plug. So that's my blue cable that goes to the auto switch over. It's going into my inverter. So when I remotely switch the inverter on, that's where um, everything, all the power goes through to my van. So it's that simple. That's how you wire the power from your inverter to your van electrical system and um, the auto switch over then obviously detects the uh, electrical hookup and then we'll just ignore this power so you can then just switch your inverter off if you're on electrical hookup right so i hope that video made sense to you if it doesn't or if you've got any further questions please leave them in the comments section down below i'm going to link all the products that i've shown here in the video description so my inverter the blue cable um, a three pin plug should you need it, uh, the auto switch over cable, um, all that kind of stuff is going to be linked in the video description down below. I'll probably even link the little fishing rod system that we use just in case you want that as well. Um, and the comment section now, I know if you're using a mobile app, they've changed it slightly on YouTube. So the comments um, are right below the video description. So what I'll probably do is I'll replicate everything I've done with the links and everything in the first pinned comment. So at least you can see that as well. Like I say, Hopefully that was straightforward enough. Uh, the worst of um, kind of the job really, I guess, was feeding the cable all the way through the floor of the van for us. The rest of it, you know, was quite straightforward, really. Right, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.